I'm a proud Christian, and I couldn't be more proud to support Kamala Harris in this upcoming election. She is running on strategies and actual policy proposals to make life more sustainable and affordable for everyone. With a $6,000 child tax credit to families with newborns to help cover expenses to raise their kids. With an increase in tax deductions for small businesses from just $5,000 to $50,000 so they can actually pursue their goals and cover the costs it takes to create a business. And not just have concepts of a goal, by the way. So just a yes or no, you still do not have a plan. I have concepts of a plan. I have concepts of a plan. With a $25,000 down payment subsidy, for first-time home buyers, with a creation of three million new homes by the end of her first four-year term, and ending America's housing supply shortage, which contributes to driving up prices, with tax cuts for over 100 million middle-class Americans, with a federal ban on price gouging to outlaw large corporations from exploiting excessive price increases on everyday necessities and countless others. She already has delivered on her promises to create millions of clean energy jobs, issue protections for out-of-state travel after Donald Trump's inhumane abortion bans with no exception were effectuated in states across the country, an American rebound from COVID, and along with Biden, passed a bill that caps the cost of insulin for people on Medicare at $35 a month. And she is seeking to cap it for everyone, not just those on Medicare, if elected. She helped pass the American Rescue Plan by casting the crucial tie-breaking vote in the Senate, which saved the Teamsters pension, along with over 200 other multi-employer pension plans, including the Mine Workers Union. And she also cast the tie-breaking vote on the Inflation Reduction Act, which allowed the Medicare program to negotiate with companies to lower prescription drug costs. Or when she was attorney general, for instance, and took on the big banks after the foreclosure crisis and won a $20 billion settlement for homeowners, among many others. Her and Tim Walz have always fought for the common good and made propitious success for everyone, whether they are Democrat, Republican, Independent, or none of the above. On the other hand, we have someone like Donald Trump running ads like this. Kamala's for they, them. President Trump is for you. And saying things like this. I think the bigger problem is the enemy from within. Not even the people that have come in and destroying our country, by the way, totally destroying our country. The towns, the villages, they're being inundated. But I don't think they're the problem in terms of election day. I think the bigger problem are the people from within. We have some very bad people. We have some sick people, radical left lunatics. And I think they're the, and, and it should be very easily handled by, if necessary, by National Guard, or if really necessary, by the military. They're poisoning the blood of our country. That's what they've done. It's crazy what's going on. They're ruining our country. And it's true. They're destroying the blood of our country. That's what they're doing. The threat from outside forces is far less sinister, dangerous, and grave than the threat from within. We pledge to you that we will root out the communists, Marxists, fascists, and the radical left thugs that live like vermin within the confines of our country. These are people. These are animals. I don't know if you call them people. In some cases, they're not people, in my opinion. Which nauseate and sicken me to the core as a Christian. In the Bible, God says that we must love thy neighbor and welcome strangers by being hospitable and loving to them, not turning them away and belittling them. To build bridges, not walls, and help uplift the most vulnerable. Donald Trump touts that people who are simply searching for a better place to live and raise a family are quote, vermin and quote, animals, and has even said that they are quote, raping our country. Allow them to come in and raid and rape our country. That's what they did. Oh, he used the word rape. That's right, I used the word rape. They raped our country. Proving once again, he has no guardrails 
and there's no limit to how backwards he can be. God up above knows that this election should not be close and that this is a test to see if we really are the family values, devote Christians, and the good-spirited people that we proclaim to be. I'm Wyatt Tomlin, and I approve this message on behalf of the Harris Waltz campaign because I know that Kamala Harris and Tim Walz will bring us together as fellow Americans and not point fingers at one another and turn the blame on each other like Trump and Vance have done. So I am profoundly hoping that you will make the unusually easy choice in just 10 days. Because in 10 days, we get to decide if we will have a compassionate, smart, and responsible leader or America's very first Fuhrer. We either get to determine the downfall of America or the destiny of our future.